I'm being accused of putting cocaine in my three-month-old baby boy's system. I know for a fact that my son's daddy, DJ, and his mama, Lisa, put this in my son's system to set me up to take him because I left her son. DSS is knocking on my door, wanting a hair strand test. From me and from him, my strand comes back negative for everything but marijuana. His come back with cocaine in his system. A year after I lost my son, I lost custody to DJ and his mom, Lisa. They've had him ever since. I did parenting classes, I did drug classes, I passed my drug test. They wouldn't let me see him. I missed his first steps, his first words. I've seen him four times since he's been born, or since he took, they took him from me. I want justice for my little boy. I want him to know his mama's not bad. I'm not a bad person. I would never do anything to hurt a child, any child. Did she uh, go to these drug classes and parenting classes? No. And the court paper says she didn't do anything she was asked to do. So it sounds like she really didn't make an effort to get no, her son back. No, because they never took her to court from the beginning. They were trying to give her a chance. It took them a year before they took her to court, and then that was because she never did anything they asked her to do. She had one excuse after the other. These people went to my son's school. They checked his grades. He had to do um, drug testing. He had to go to behavioral health. He had to do all of these things because of what she had did. You can't make this stuff up. A three-month-old three baby with a large amount of cocaine in his system. Again, and I have to ask, and I know I'm being repetitive, you really believe Lisa had something to do with it? Or she had some money to do it, yes. Why? Because she's not like me since day one. Since day one, and I never did nothing wrong. And about me being jealous... Did you do drugs? I, I smoke weed, yes. Um, I'm not you, even going And you lie. ended up in jail for malicious damage or yes. something? Yes. So but she's got a couple reasons not to like you, right? Yeah, but that we was already together, and I done had when that happened. The point is, it's you're not the Girl Scout of the Year, right? Am I correct? What? I'm saying you have a little bit of a shady past. Yeah, okay. I do, but well, I grew up since then. Okay, but I'm saying at young. the time, Lisa had reason not to like you, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but it ain't like her son or the girlfriend ain't never smoked weed in their life. If you thought for one minute that I gave that baby cocaine, why? The day when we got him, did you sign the paper saying that you wanted me and DJ to be his alternative caregiver? I didn't get Why? told until after y'all had got him and I signed you are the paper. A lie. Okay, I'm you a lie. Knew ahead I wanna of time, be there for him. You knew ahead of time when they came and did the sample, you knew ahead of time what was gonna happen when it happened. You knew if he tested positive where it was going, because they had already know. they had already discussed it with you. You a habitual liar, and you sit on here and you try to act like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm a victim. I'm I'm so innocent. I want to be a mom. A mom is a mom. It's a 365-day-a-year damn job. A day. We gave you a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you intentionally give your son cocaine? You answered no. Do you know for sure who gave your grandson cocaine? You said no. Did you falsify the drug screen report for your grandson so Sabrina would lose custody? You said no. Did you frame Sabrina for giving your grandson cocaine? And you answered no. And the results came back all the same, and it came back that Lisa told the truth. I said, I promise you and God, I will always take care of him until you can do it yourself. And that's what I did. I never would have did anything to hurt my grandson to get back at you. Because you know what? I, when you came and sat down at my table with my son the first time I ever really met you, I knew you was trash then, and I know your ass is trash now. Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina came here and she took a lie detector test. Mm -hmm. You should have stayed at home, boo boo. We asked Sabrina, do you know for sure who gave your son cocaine? And she answered, no. Did you have cocaine in your home? 
She answered, no. Were there drugs being utilized in front of your son around the time he had cocaine in his system? She said, no. Did you allow anyone to be around your son while they were doing cocaine? And she said, no. And the results came back all the same. And it came, they came back that Sabrina did not tell the truth. You got it. It ain't what you wanted. You want to throw her off the and stage? And you still ain't going to be the mother that you claim to be. Get your ass off Steve's stage. I have two daughters, one Patricia and one named Teresa. Teresa has a boyfriend by the name of Josh, and I have custody of their two-year-old. Patricia has a boyfriend by the name of Floyd. Teresa's boyfriend, Josh, is accusing Floyd of molesting my two-year-old granddaughter. I've had custody of the baby since she was three months old. Josh is court-ordered visitation. When she came back from visiting her dad, she has been acting inappropriately. I've seen her try to her private area. It only happens when she comes back from Josh's house. Josh is screaming all over town that Floyd has molested his daughter and that he is a sex offender. Floyd has never even touched this baby because he's never left alone with the baby. You say, you know, you abused his daughter, you have daughters. Can you imagine that? Steve, I, I was done this way when I was a kid. I was molested by a family friend. And I know how it is. I know how a kid lives with it the rest of their life. I can't get close to my father because of it. Yeah, no, so and, I. you know, my kids, to me, it seems like my daughters don't want to be around me because they hear everybody's talk about this. Well, that's got to be a big thing because your daughters are old enough to understand that kind yeah. of talk. Josh, you're a blooming idiot. You're a blooming idiot. He hasn't been around that baby by himself. Either you or somebody in your family has molested my granddaughter. And by God, I'll either find out who done it or your ass to go to jail. Yes, we will find out who did it. Yeah. I, I like how you did it. I pray to God you did it. Because if you did, Steve and him ain't going to be able to stop me because I will snap your ass in two. <laughs> Floyd came here and took a lie detector test and we asked him, have you ever been a registered sex offender? He answered no. In your 2009 arrest, were you sexual with the minor boy involved? You answer no. You told the truth to both questions. I told you, Josh. Yeah. I told you. Um, then we asked you, have you ever had sexual contact, contact with Teresa's daughter? You said no, and the results came back inconclusive. Which... Hold on. Oh, no. That means we couldn't get a test uh, negatively or positively. Josh, you came here to lie detector test, and we asked you, have you ever had contact with your daughter for your own sexual gratification? You answered no, and you told the truth. <laughs> Did your daughter indicate that Floyd sexually molested her? You answered yes. Yeah. You did not tell the truth. You stupid fool. No, no, no. She did. I got witnesses that she did. When you mentioned Floyd's name, did your daughter react in a fearful way? You said yes. You did not tell the truth. So, Josh, what I want to know is why, why would you make up the story about Floyd when you know it's not true? When you go to bed, and when you know that their kids got taken away for 30 days, what were you thinking? I wasn't making it up. What, 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 what were you thinking, though? I wasn't making I'm it up. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> OK. I'm asking you a question. Uh, when their kids got taken away, and you knew they got taken away, and you went to bed every night, 
Did you think about that? I didn't know nothing. You didn't know nothing? I swear to God. Nothing. No. You're a liar, Josh. Jeez. I mean, I can tell you. You're a liar. I, I can get the, the doctor. You, I had her what record. What record is there? I can get the record what that record? where that I called. What record? That you came in? No, where that, I no, called. you said you went into the police station, no, right? No, I called the You police said, you station. said you went into the station. No, I didn't go in no station. You said you did. I called the oh police. Oh. You said that you went in there. I did. I went in there and then called. <laughs> Which one is it, Josh? Which one is it? I went and called. Did you call or did you go? I called to the state police and then I went to the county. How about, how about what do you want to say to Floyd right now? What do you want to say to her right now? Yeah, really, All I can you say, say is I'm sorry. You best be I sorry, made buddy. Well, let me tell you I'm something. Sorry. You best be sorry because I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to jail. You're going to go to jail. You want me to tell you why? That's false police report. Josh, False you run my report. life, dude. You're going to jail. You run my life, all right? I can't walk down the street at home without somebody thinking I'm a jail molester because of you. Why did you throw Floyd's name in the mix my of molesters? Right there yeah, but you know, but she, now. but you just failed. You cost somebody 30 days, a whole month of a child's life. You affected not just Floyd and her. You affected little kids by your crazy you having, accusations. And you need to think about that. Mm -hmm. And with that, get the hell off my stage. <laughs> um, I certainly hope this helps. You know, the people in your town, I hope they watch the show. They see that you passed this. Uh, you're not, you know, sex offender. You didn't do anything with Josh's kid. You know, family man, you say he's a good father. I'm going to take your word for it. Grandma, uh, you know, it's got to be tough. And I always admire women like you taking in kids that aren't your own. You get to a point in life, you think, hey, I did my job. And now you're starting right back over. Exactly. So I wish you all the best of luck. If we can ever be a help again, let me know. Give me a call. Good luck to you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.